Hey guys, and welcome back to our Infinite Flight video training series. My name is Mark, or as many of you know me as Skyhawk Heavy. Uh, today we're going to be going over aerial refueling. Uh, we still receive several questions uh, from users who want to know how to aerial refuel with a fighter, C-130, or any of the other aircraft that you can refuel in. Uh, so basically, this is just a visual that you can look at. You have the target zone for aerial refueling around the tanker, uh, and then you have, uh, let's just say, a bubble. Uh, around the aircraft that you're you're flying and wanting to uh, to fill up uh, So basically as long as you bring those two within the same vicinity um, As you can see here, you don't have to make contact. You don't have to connect uh, To the nozzle or anything like that But as long as you're within those zones uh, or have your bubble within that zone of the tanker Then you will be able to refuel um, with the aircraft that you're flying Now, it's important that when you're aerial refueling that you know what the speed of the tanker is. Uh, and, of course, unless you're communicating with the pilot of the tanker, um, you're only going to be able to see it on the radar in ground speed. So uh, you'll want to match your aircraft speed with the tanker speed. Um, now, when you're approaching the tanker, um, you want to fly a little bit faster uh, just to slowly move up to the tanker, uh, but you don't want to fly so fast. Uh, that you overtake the tanker. Uh, you want to just gradually move up to it, um, it and make sure, of course, that you do have the fuel to slowly move up to it. Uh, but you, you want to gradually move up to it, and so that way, as you get closer, you can slow down and match the speed um, of the tanker uh, to go ahead and begin uh, the refueling. Um, you can do it with the, uh, with the AP, with the autopilot, um, one thing that you could also do is um, make sure you copy the FPL or the flight plan of the uh, tanker uh, so that way you can stay close to being on track with it. Uh, but as you get closer, um, you'll need to make minor adjustments. Uh, you can do that, as I said, with the autopilot. Um, a lot of times you can also uh, disengage the uh, heading of the AP and uh, just manually fly it. Uh, of course, that's a little bit trickier, um, but you can do it uh, that way. But for the purposes of the video, I'm just using the AP. Um, now, when you start, it will tell you aerial refueling has started. Uh, when you've topped off or when it's completed, it'll tell you aerial refueling completed. Uh, and then once you do that, you'll break away. Also, keep in mind, you can only aerial refuel three times per session. Now, here are the um, area refueling altitudes and speeds for the aircraft that we have within the flight sim. Um, on the F-18 right now, that's the only aircraft that cannot aerial refuel within infinite flight. Uh, but once we rework it, that will be added. Uh, but again, remember that you're limited to three connects during a session. Well, guys, that's the basics of aerial refueling within infinite flight. Um, go out, try it out with your friends. Uh, it's fun, but it's also challenging. Um, so... Just give it a try and let us know what you think. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, our other social media pages. I uh, appreciate you taking a few moments to watch. My name is Mark, a.k.a. Skyhawk Heavy. We'll see you next time.